Lucretia is an agility-based ranger hero from the Hypergean faction who specializes in destroying entire enemy teams by herself. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at her skills and abilities, her teams and uses, and whether or not it's worth investing in this hero. So let's get into it. Her ultimate ability, Ungodly Defiance, has two effects. The first time she uses this ability, she's going to absorb the two revolving skulls around her and increase her life leech and also increase her energy recovery rate. And then every time she uses it after that, she will deal AoE damage. Next up, we have Hellfire. She's going to create flames around herself that last for 10 seconds that are going to deal AoE damage and also reduce the defense of enemies struck by it. And the ability's defense decrease can stack. On top of that, she's also going to receive 20% less damage while the flames are around. And next up, we have Death Wish. For this ability, Lucretia marks the enemy with the highest attack rating and hunts them down until their death. While targeting them, the enemy has their damage dealt reduced by 30%. Also, Lucretia gets damage mitigation of 20% for 7 seconds. And on top of that, the damage she deals to the hunted enemy is increased by 40%. Now, if Zafrael is in the enemy team, she will focus him above all other enemies until his death. And then we have Lucretia's passive skill, Twin Terrors. She is circled by two skulls at the start of the battle. Now, depending on where she starts, she's going to get a different effect. If she starts in the front row, she's going to gain dodge and tenacity. If she starts in the back row, she's going to gain attack speed and crit damage amplification. But after she does use her ultimate ability for the first time, she will gain both of these effects. Her signature item skill, Animus, is dependent on her allies dying. For the base skill, Lucretia gains 150 energy points per second over 5 seconds when any non-summoned ally dies for the first time. With skill ups, we also get an attack rating increase by up to 50% and also a haste increase of 8 points. On top of that, these buffs can be stacked if multiple allies do die. And finally, for her furniture item skill, Blazing Fury. At level 3, after she uses her ultimate for the first time, the enemies that are damaged by her Hellfire will have their energy recovery rates reduced by 50%. And at level 9, her flames are further strengthened, meaning they will no longer disappear, and enemies that are in the vicinity of the flames can no longer use their ultimate abilities. Due to the intense amount of buffs that Lucretia receives from her abilities, both offensively and defensively, and the fact that the signature item is activated from allies dying, means that she is a fantastic unit to solo entire enemy teams. The main way she wants to be used is to have allies die fairly quickly so that she can stack all of the attack and haste buffs provided by her signature item alt twice really quickly, meaning her flames will not allow her enemies to use their ultimate abilities, and then she can destroy enemies incredibly fast. Lucretia can be used with just about any hero in the game. The idea is that your allies are meant to die, and then she kills everyone else. So she can even be used with allies at level 1, who are simply put in there to die. She can also be used in teams with lots of hypergenes to take advantage of the hypergene faction bonus. But the team she's most commonly used in is a 5 pool, utilizing Iron and Screath's ability to group all the enemies together, allowing Lucretia to sit on top of all of them, alt 2 times, make them unable to use their ultimate abilities, and then she can just shred through them. So with those core three members, you have many options to use in the final two positions. You can use something like Sophia to put her pyramid up and give Lucretia extra protection and offense. You can use something like Brutus to actually survive and provide a barricade buff using the barricade artifact to protect Lucretia if she might die. Laika is fantastic in these teams, increasing the haste, allowing to Lucretia to ult faster yet again. And even Rowan can be used so that she can absorb his energy potion and ult faster. For this demonstration, we'll be using Brutus to provide that barricade buff just in case we need it. Lucretia, obviously. Then we'll also have Sophia, Iron, and Screath. 
The way this team functions is very simple. Screeath is going to group the enemies up at the start of the battle with his three furniture ability. Then Iron's going to pull them all over to your side of the battlefield. By that time, Sophia will have her pyramid set up, which is going to increase the damage that we can deal to the enemy team, but also reduce the damage that they can deal to Lucretia. Then we have Brutus. Now, Brutus's roar is going to be very handy making enemies unable to dodge, allowing Lucretia to get all of that damage through. But on top of that, Brutus is there using the barricade to be able to protect Lucretia if she does, does get hit really hard by a certain ability. Then we have Lucretia in there to deal all the damage. As for artifacts for Lucretia, the Verdant Longbow is incredibly strong in offensive scenarios, giving her extra damage every four normal attacks, and due to the fact that she buffs her haste so much, she will be attacking really fast. Now for a more defensive option, Option, we do have the Shroud of Verdure, which is going to give her a shield at the start, allowing her to hopefully survive some extra attacks. And if you don't have either of those two yet, it's fine. You can use something like the Jura's Eye to get extra crit. You can use Jura's Blade for extended attack buffs. You can use Jura's Grace to give her a shield every time she ults to protect herself. Or there's also Jura's Call, which is going to allow her to use her ultimate ability faster. So as you can see, Lucretia is an incredibly powerful hero. And that begs the question, is she worth investing in? And the simple answer is definitely. Lucretia is one of the strongest heroes currently in the game. The fact that she can solo entire enemy teams, as long as her teammates are willing to die for her means that you have very little investment into that team. You only need to have her signature item and her furniture upgraded, and you only need to have the one really good set of gear upgraded on her. So when it comes time to Stargaze, when you start getting those Stargazer cards or you decide to spend some diamonds in the Stargazer, the creature is a fantastic first option for players. She just offers so much strength. Now you might not see great use out of her until you do get her to Ascended. So keep that in mind, it is gonna be a slower process, but when she does get there, you will want to max out her signature item to 30 and also max out her furniture to nine. The furniture is really helpful to stop enemies using their ultimate and her signature item is what makes her so powerful with all those extra buffs that it gives. Now, not necessary, but if you want to, you can go the extra mile and take her to one star. One star will allow her to unlock her engravings feature, which will give her a bunch of extra stats, making her more powerful in that role of destroying the enemy team. So that is going to be it for Lucretia, one of the strongest heroes currently in the game who just likes to destroy entire teams by herself. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have an awesome day and we'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.